Hello, it's end one again, and uh, today with me, Nate Walters, the winner and the MVP of the Serbian Cup. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks for having me. Your results on, on the court are great, and um, you're very, very efficient. But at the same time, don't you feel uh, underrated? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I don't, I don't really... Underappreciated? Think, yeah, I don't really know? think about all that stuff on the outside. I just try to try to play my game and um, I really love it here. Um, the coach, teammates, everything. So I uh, really, really got a good situation here. And, uh, and you're doing do really best. well. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. We're having, a, we're having a pretty good season. We've had a lot of uh, close losses in the EuroLeague. So, I mean, it could have been better, but um, overall, um, it's been, it's been good. And you've been a part of um, Zvezda twice, uh, once in 2016 and now. How does that Nate Walters compare to you now? <laughs> oh, so that was only my second year in Europe. Um, so I was still kind of getting used to it. And yeah, I mean, this was quite the change, um, just the way they do things here. So definitely a lot more prepared now, um, a little older. I think I'm, I think I'm a better basketball player too. Um, so a lot of similarities though with, uh, we have the same coach, a lot of the same teammates, even from five years ago. So that's, that's made a lot easier. Let's bring it back uh, to the start of your career. 2013, you and Yanis are being presented uh, after the draft. What do you remember about this moment? Obviously, it was a dream come true to get drafted. Never really thought it was possible growing up and had a good college career, but it was always kind of, I was pretty overlooked um, getting recruited by, went to a small school and all that. So just to get drafted by the NBA was a dream come true and something that I never really thought would happen. And yeah, I mean, that day was the first time meeting Giannis and just to see what he's become and everything and then was able to see him his rookie year and second year um, and kind of grow to what he is now is uh, pretty cool. Yeah, because uh, he was just 19 years old back then? Yeah, and 18 or 19, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he didn't speak like English very well and he was just a kid, it was his first time in the United States. He was away from his family, so um, yeah, it was a, quite the adjustment for him. And um, yeah, we were, we were pretty good friends and he was, uh, he was a really good guy and I knew he was going to be a really good player, but... Uh, you could see that already. Yeah, I mean, he was just really talented. Everyone could see that. I don't know if anyone could see what was going to happen, yeah. <laughs> how good he's become. But um, yeah, you can kind of tell even then, I mean, just his work ethic and um, how he approached the game and everything, you could tell he was going to be really good. Um, you and Kuzmic have played in the NBA. Which one of your current teammates do you think has the biggest chance uh, to take the leap? To the NBA. I don't know, we got a pretty old team. <laughs> I don't think any of us are going to go there, honestly, at this point. I'm trying to think of some young guys. haven't made it back I'm, now. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some younger guys, but we got a pretty old, we got a pretty good old team. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I won't give up that, that dream. As a point guard, you must love playing with great centers. We have three great ones, Walter Tavares, Nikola Milutinov, and um, Jan Vesely. And who would you start Bench and cut. I don't know they're all they're all pretty good. Uh, I haven't played with any of them. I think Vesely would be fun to play with. Uh, I'll start Tavares. I'll cut Milutinov. Bench. Uh, what yeah. was the last yeah, one? Yeah, 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 I'll go with Vesely. Yeah. And who from your league centers are are the scariest to go into the paint with? Probably the really I don't even know the friend's name from Asvel. Uh, he's super tall. He's like seven two. Or Mustafa Fall. Yeah. Any of those guys, you don't really, they kind of just drop in the paint and um, I like to shoot a floater a lot. You never really feel comfortable just because they're so Or Tavares. Yeah, probably yeah, one of him those. too. Yeah, his, his yeah. His seems like yeah. you cover half Yeah, the those guys, time. yeah. Yeah, when they're in the paint, it's, yeah, it makes you think a little bit before you shoot. And now I'm going to give you two truths and a lie and you're going to have to spot a lie, okay? Okay. So uh, Kuzmich has won NBA, uh, NBA G League and EuroLeague. Nikola Kalinic has won EuroLeague Final Four MVP. Marko Simonovic has won Olympic medal. All those sound true. Um, I think Kuzmich's is true. I'll go with Kalinic not winning the MVP. Oh, that's true. Is that, he that's won true? The, yeah, that, that, I mean, no. It's true that you're correct. Oh, that's I'm what correct. I mean, sorry. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. That's very <laughs> yeah, okay. play of words, but yeah. So you spotted a lie, Perfect. but he's won um, EuroLeague Finals top scorer, but not the MVP. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You've played for three NBA teams, Milwaukee Bucks, Pelicans, and Utah Jazz. Uh, how would you rank from third to first in terms of how much fun you had playing? I mean, I for spent them? like two weeks in New Orleans, so honestly, that was pretty short lived. That's how you forgot um, it. I'll go Milwaukee first, Utah, and then New Orleans. 
Okay. But mainly the time Milwaukee. They're all pretty short. Do you still follow the NBA? Yeah, I mean, with the time difference and all that, I don't really watch too many of the games, but I'll try to watch the playoffs. Yeah. don't really watch the regular season too much, but we'll check scores. But I think the NBA playoffs are really fun. Is there your favorite team you like to root for? Growing up is the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm from Minnesota, so I was a huge KG fan. Now I'll still follow them a little bit. More more players. Yeah. I, I just Who follow some favorite? players. Uh, I like Chris Paul a lot. I'm a LeBron guy, so I like the Lakers now a little bit, but yeah, not don't really have a favorite team anymore. Which current Euroleague player was not drafted in the second round of your 2013 NBA draft? Lorenzo Brown, Sergey Karasov, or Geoffrey Laverne? Karasov, I don't know how to say his last name. He was a first round pick, I think. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah. I remember that draft <laughs> pretty well. Do NBA rookies from uh, the same year, especially the ones who move on to year later, keep in touch, have a relationship? Isaiah can't play with Isaiah last year, Isaiah Cannon. Yeah. Uh, we were the same draft class. Uh, he's not in your league anymore, but Ray McCallum. Some, a lot of the guards, mm -hmm. you kind of like know them from pre-draft and like do workouts and stuff. So you kind of keep tabs with them the rest of your career. You're having a very unique career, playing in so many different leagues and countries. Could you choose your own favorite highlight? Honestly, I really enjoyed my year here. Um, we had a super fun year. We won all three. We won the cup, won the Adriatic, won Serbian League. And we had a really good year league season where we missed the playoffs by one. Uh, I think that was my, that season was really fun. Good group of guys too, so we'll go with that year. Okay, and you don't have a specific uh, moment, moment or, yeah. I kind of remember the ones we lost more than we won. I feel like I have more of those. My last question usually is uh, end one celebration because the show is called end one, but I know I've heard, I've talked to Aaron White today. He said, you know, I'm almost like, <laughs> uh, Nate, I don't celebrate. Yeah, no, I don't at all on an end one. No, I, I, they always make fun of me for not having any emotion, so that's probably usually do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for the interview. All right. Thanks, thanks for, for your having time. me. Yep.